up everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well today for today's video i am back again doing a part two to my video where i tried out sponsored posts from instagram if you guys haven't seen my previous video basically the concept is i go on my instagram and for like a week i pretty much just buy every single ad that is recommended to me on the spot let me know if you guys get instagram sponsored ads of like different products clothing and just all kinds of random items often because i seem to get them so much. So for today's video, I decided to actually buy them because I feel like a lot of people just scroll past it and don't really take notice. So I'm here to actually buy them, purchase them and test them out for you guys so you don't have to. If you guys are brand new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy. Welcome to my channel. If you guys want to stick around, make sure you guys subscribe down below. And I have also done a video like this a few months ago, which I'll link in the eye. But anyways, I guess without further rambling, let's get on into the video. All right, guys. So before we we kind of jump straight into the first product. I just want to say, if you guys haven't seen my launch video of my new collection with Revolution, I've got it right here. I've actually used it on my eyes today. I used the Cozy Vibes palette. In fact, I've actually used the whole collection on my face today. I've also used the lashes and also the felt tip liner. So I just want to say, if you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it down below so you guys can see the whole collection in its glory. Anyways, let's jump in to the first product. The first product is super interesting because it's actually a lamp. I feel like especially now in the last year or two that we've been spending more time at home, these lamps and like lamp companies have been popping up everywhere. Especially if you're into the TikTok world, you will know pretty much any kind of mood lighting that exists out there because everyone on TikTok has it now. But anyways, I love me some mood lighting, so I'm not complaining. The first sort of ad that popped up on my Instagram as I was filming this video is this right here. This is a company called Noxu.Design. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, but basically, it's a lamp that sits in the corner of your room. It is literally designed to like fit perfectly in any corner of any room. I feel like that is such a good idea because, I mean, lamps, a lot of the time, they can just be a thing that just gets in the way. It takes up space. However, this lamp literally sits in the corner, an ugly corner of your house that would probably be empty anyway. And in the photo, you can see it does the most beautiful, like rainbow effect. It has so many different color options and I just fell in love with this. Okay, so from this company, I actually ordered two different types of lamp. So they have the full sort of length one that you can see in the photo, but they also have a desktop one. I ended up getting two because they were actually on sale. So initially the Kona floor lamp, which is the big one, was 225 pounds and it has recently been reduced to 139 pounds. I feel like that's obviously a premium lamp. However, for how cool it is and like the design of it and how unique it is I think that that's actually not that bad so I actually ended up getting two of those because I recently started streaming on Twitch and I wanted like a really nice background in my office if you guys don't follow me on my Twitch make sure you do it's Roxora's 14 we definitely have fun on there we play Among Us Call of Duty we do chatting honestly it's so much fun getting to know you guys like one-to-one -one. it's definitely way more personal than YouTube so come and check out my streams and then the second lamp that I got is actually called it Chisai or Chisai I don't know how to say it but it's 94 pounds and it was the desktop one so you can actually put it on a desk I feel like this one is really cool because you could have so many uses for it you could put it like on your desk or you could put it behind your computer and have like a really nice glow okay guys so the first one I have is this this is the desktop one it's actually pretty tall still for a desktop lamp however it has a really nice thin slimline kind of vibe to it it's very very supported by this really nice base and then obviously on one side it's got the LED and then on the other side it's just black. So yeah, this is pretty much it. There's not that much to it. It then just has a little plug. Both of these actually come with their own separate remotes as well. So I'm gonna put those to the test in just a sec. And now the tall one I have right here, which I've just got my fiance Matt to assemble for me, but he said it was really easy to put together. It's basically just again, a really long prong. This one has like a angled kind of edge to it, as you guys can see. And then the stand is like, like this is just like a 90 degree foot, which I think is just such a cool design. It's gonna fit perfectly in any corner. So with a big lamp, they actually had two different colors to choose from. They had the white and also a black one. I think the white is better though, because if you have light walls in your house, this is gonna kind of just blend into the wall and you're not even gonna see it. All you're gonna see is that really cool glow behind it. 
So I guess let's take this to my streaming room and we'll see how they work. All right guys, so here is the lamp and how tall it is full size. And then this is the little desktop one. I've just popped it on our cat tree here. And this is actually my office space. If you guys didn't know, I actually have been streaming on Twitch for a little while. This is my little setup. So if you guys ever wanna hang out with me live on Twitch, it's Rockstar 14. But I feel like this will definitely spice up the background. So this is the little remote that it comes with. It actually has three different remotes. I've got three different lamps. All right, so three, two, one. Oh my God, guys, look at this. Wait, I'm gonna face it to you guys so you can see. How does that look? It's doing like a full on rainbow effect. I actually love that, look at it. You can actually set it whatever color you want as well. That's so awesome. It's got like this little color wheel. So if you're feeling a bit red, you can use a red color. That is amazing. Look at the rainbow. I actually love that, okay? That is my new favorite thing. So this one right here is actually one that I've already put in the corner of my room. And as you can see, it's just adding a really nice glow behind my plant. I absolutely love it. I just think this is such a cool idea and it just works. Like it just works. If you don't have much space in your house, this works. All right guys, this next item is actually something that you can eat, which is very exciting, but also a little bit scary because I literally ordered this from a shop from Instagram. I mean, it's not actually an Instagram shop. They just advertised it on Instagram. They have a perfectly fine website that looks legit. So it should all be good. This is the post that I saw and I just had to get it because as soon as I saw Oreos and plant-based in the same picture, I was sold. So Dirty Cow is a vegan chocolate company that makes plant-based chocolates. So whether you're vegan or lactose intolerant, you can still enjoy chocolate. These look absolutely amazing. Like genuinely, I'm so excited to try them. They have Oreo ones, they have like pistachio chocolates, they have Lotus Biscoff chocolates as well and popcorn flavored chocolates. Honestly, it's chocolate heaven. First of all, can we just talk about the packaging? The packaging is everything. So the flavors I got is the Oreo one because of course that was in the advert, I had to get it. We then have a popcorn flavored one and then the bourbon flavored one. I think because I was advertised the Oreo one, it's only fair that I try out this one. So let's open it up. Okay, so a little bit of the Oreo has just fell on the floor, but this is what the chocolate looks like. It's basically just, it looks like dark chocolate with a little bit of Oreo crumbled on top. So let's try it. Mmm, that's so good. Oh my God, that is actually amazing. Honestly though, guys, I am not even a fan of dark chocolate, but this isn't even that dark. Like it's actually still sweet and it doesn't taste bitter. It's actually the perfect amount of darkness in a chocolate for me. So I really rate this. I guess my final verdict is definitely a big thumbs up. I really like these dirty cow chocolates. If you're looking for a good vegan alternative to chocolate, definitely check them out. Okay, so the next item is actually a phone case. However, this phone case is not just a regular phone case. I've got to say this ad, this sponsored post on Instagram, they did a really good job because as soon as I watched it, I watched it all the way through and I bought it on the spot. It's called a gecko case and this is basically a gravity defying case that pretty much attaches to most surfaces. You can attach this onto a mirror, you can attach this onto a wall, like if you're doing a TikTok or you're trying to take a selfie and you feel like you don't really have the best lighting, literally just pop it on your window and there you go. As I said, I was really convinced with the video that was in the sponsored post. I'll try and put it on screen if I can find it again, but I bought this and I'm so excited. I hope it works. I think this was quite pricey. I think I ended up paying like 25 to 30 pounds for this. Um, but if it works, it's gonna be worth every penny. This is how it looks. The packaging is really nice and sleek. So let's take a look together. Ooh. We have a little gecko card. And then this is the phone case. It's just a black phone case, not really that much to it. So basically it says on the back, peel this off before application. So I'm gonna peel this little film off. That's satisfying, that is satisfying. Okay, so I'm kind of worried that as soon as I touch this, I'm gonna feel a bit weird about it because it might be sticky, but I don't really know what to expect. Ooh. 
oh my gosh, like as soon as I press it, it gets my fingerprint indented into it. And you can literally see any kind of dirt that I've got on my hands. I'm gonna try and wipe it on my trousers and see if it gets rid of it. Oh God. <laughs> I've just made matters worse. Now all the fibers off of my trousers are stuck to this phone case. Well, this is a good start. I mean, how are you supposed to clean this? It's literally got so much dirt on it already and I've just peeled it off. I mean, I guess let's just put it on my phone. I've got this phone case on right now. So this is how my phone looks with the case on. As you guys can see, it's not looking pristine and clean anymore. I've literally wiped it on my trousers. I've got fingerprints, foundation marks on it already. So it's not looking all that great. I guess that let's just take this to a wall or a mirror and just see how many surfaces this will actually stick to. All right guys, so it's now time to try out the gecko case and put it into practice. So I've got my window behind me. Let's see if this will stick. Hopefully it won't fall off. Oh my God, that actually works. Wait, how sturdy is it though? Guys, I can't get it off. Oh, okay, wait. Okay, so it's actually pretty strong in terms of glass. Will it work on this though? I don't know what this is. It's like plastic. Let's try it. Oh, that works too. Do you know what though? If that, if that fell right now, that would literally smash my phone to bits but it seems to stick. How about a wall? Let's try a wall. So I've got my wall here. Let's just see if this will stick to a regular painted wall. Okay, <laughs> it doesn't work for a wall. That's interesting. And it is very dirty. Just have a little look up close. There's so many little hairs and fingerprints. I have no idea how I'm gonna like actually clean this. Um, that could also be the reason why it's not sticking to the wall. If I press it hard enough, will it stick? It works, you just have to press way harder. That's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Bit of vibration. It seems to actually stick. I'm actually pretty surprised. You just have to press it way harder on a surface like this. All right guys, the next sponsored post that we're trying out from Instagram is actually a colored latte brand. Now, I don't really drink latte. I don't drink any kind of coffee. I don't really like the taste of it. But as soon as I saw this, I was like, hmm, maybe now I do like latte. The reason why I really like this is because it's 100% vegan friendly and it's made from natural ingredients. I mean, the drinks it just look so Instagrammable, let's be real. So that's what really suckered me into this one. So I actually ordered one of their latte powders. I think I got it in like a blue or pink color. This is how it arrived. So it's from a brand called Tea and The Gang. They do teas, they do lattes, all types of different things. Oh my gosh. There's two things. I think I got a freebie. Okay, so it comes with a little leaflet and it's just got the Tea and the Gang branding on it. It says, we recommend the following recipe, but feel free to get creative. And then on the back, it's basically just got the instructions on how to make this and prepare it. So inside we have two things. The first thing is the thing I actually ordered, which is called the Fairy Powder Latte. It's in cotton candy flavor. And I'm just so excited. The ingredients, there's actually three. There's lacuma, beetroot, and natural flavoring granules. That is so cool. Like usually with things like this, you would get so many different ingredients, so many different chemicals. You don't even know what they are. And then we also got this, which is actually a little sample of the Butler Earl Grey black tea. I'm not really the biggest black tea drinker or any kind of tea drinker. However, I will give this a try as well. I think in total, I ended up spending about seven pounds for this, including shipping. So it wasn't all that much. And I feel like you actually get multiple uses out of just this one little sachet. So I guess let's go make this a cotton candy latte and see how it tastes. All right guys, so it's now time to make the colorful latte. I've got my instructions here. It basically just says to scoop 1.5 grams of powder and then mix it with some water and then milk. You could obviously add ice if you want it to be like an ice latte. Let's have a look at this. I'm excited. I really hope it's gonna turn out like it did in the photos. It would help if I could get into it first. <laughs> Why can't I open this? Oh my god, it's actually pink inside. It smells interesting. It smells, um, I don't know, it just smells like beetroot in all honesty. And I'm not a big fan of beetroot, so let's see. Look at that, guys. It is absolutely pink. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna guess that that's enough. <laughs> I'm now gonna pour the water in. Look at that. And now it just says to basically mix the two together until the powder dissolves. All right, and it's now time for milk. I'm just using some Oatly Barista milk and I'm gonna pour this in and hopefully it'll go nice and light in color. 
Guys, did you see that? That was amazing. The way that like, oh, I just love that. <laughs> the way the milk made it so, so cool in like texture. I don't even know how to describe that. That's actually really good. I feel like if I added some extra sugar into that, that would literally be bomb. And it doesn't taste a whole lot like coffee. It tastes kind of like a latte, maybe mostly because of the milk, but it tastes really nice and fruity and it doesn't taste like beetroot. That is really, really nice actually. So I think I'm gonna give that a big thumbs up. I actually really like this, although I don't like lattes. And the very last item we have is right here. This is actually a thing that I've seen multiple times on the internet, but I've never decided to purchase it for whatever reason. But today is the day. This is the video where I actually picked this up to try it out and it's called a ponyo. I know it doesn't look like much, but apparently if you like to have your hair up, this will change your life. So with this, it actually came with a little leaflet. I'm pretty sure there's loads of different like Chinese replicas of this, but Ponyo is the original patented like product. It's basically just a substitute to hair ties or hair bands or scrunchies. It's meant to be a way better alternative for your hair that isn't meant to break your hair. And apparently you get way better like results for like a high pony and stuff because you can bend this into shape so that it actually like lifts up your hair. So inside we have a little leaflet and this is basically all the different ways that you can wear your Ponyo, which I'm really excited to try out. I ended up getting the black one because I felt like it would match my hair the most. All right guys, so I've just read the instructions and basically what you do is you gather your hair all the way up to your head, which is what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so once you've got your hair into this high kind of position, you then take your Ponyo and you spread it into a circle and then you basically try and thread all of your hair through, which I feel like this is gonna be hard if you have quite thick hair. I'm gonna try my best though, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so I can feel some tugging for sure because the Ponyo is actually made of like a silicon kind of texture. Um, so then what it says to do is to just squish it all together like this into a straight line. And then once you kind of have it in this position, you're supposed to bend one of the things backwards and then same for the other. <laughs> I feel like I'm not explaining it the best. But this is it. Does that even look good? I feel like I feel really supported actually. I mean, I probably could have done a better job at like actually putting my hair all nice and neat. However, it's doing a really good job to keep my hair in a high pony. Also, can I just say, my hair feels really comfortable in this. Like there's no hair follicles that are being strained. There's no little hairs here and there that are being pulled. I actually feel like this works, so this really works. I mean, you could even probably go and do a bun from here. That would work. Okay, I have to say, I'm impressed with the Ponyo. This works. This feels really good on my head too. I guess the only downside that I have to the Ponyo is that it is a little bit harder to make sure that all of your hair right here is nice and neat. Just because when you're like pulling the Ponyo over your hair, it's kind of messing everything up as you go. Obviously, you probably will get better with practice and this is my first go and I'm not even looking in the mirror. So I guess as my first verdict of the product, I do like it, it definitely works, but I'm gonna need some more practice. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the different things that I've tested out from the Instagram sponsored posts. I had so much fun trying these out. A lot of them I feel like I would probably purchase again, especially the lamp. The lamps are amazing. If you would like to see any more videos that are like this, be sure to like screenshot some ads that you might think are interesting and then definitely feel free to send them to me on Instagram DMs. I hope you guys are all well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and being here and hope Hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.